Hey, that works. Uh, hello, great. good afternoon, good evening. I am here today with, I'm so excited that M Mo Fit Meals is here and uh, Monica is here with Valiant Brand. These are two of the most supportive and amazing hexagons in the community and they're both here together. And I'm so honored to be here. And I just, we're already chatting and I can already feel like the positive energy and the love and the support. And I think that that's kind of really needed in this moment in time. How are you guys doing? Monica, welcome. Hey, thank you for having me. I really appreciate it. Yeah, it's so nice. It's so nice to see you on stream. I know that you're kind of getting into, you're going to start streaming a little bit more now, right? Uh, <laughs> Possibly. Know. You know, I'm a shy girl, so... But this is, you know, it's fun. Thank you for having me, inviting me. And I get to chat to you with you guys and see everybody. It's it's good to see people. I mean, it's fun. And we're yeah. all in the same world, right? So. We're all in the same world. And then Valley at Brand, we've streamed together a couple of times now. And you're back. I really like collaborating with you. And you're out there just smashing it. You're, like, building your following. It's growing every day. And you're like, <laughs> I watch you stream alone. That's hard to do, yeah. my friend. I've done it. Monica yeah. is so hard to stream alone because especially if there's not a lot of people, you're like, there's no one here. <laughs> like yeah. literally hanging out by myself. And I'm like, what am I going to talk about? <laughs> well, no. Yeah. I, I felt that way. So, so not last Sunday, like, uh, but the, the week before on Mother's Day, I was like, you know, cause I was debating, I was initially going to stream and then it's like, man, is there really much to talk yeah. about? And there wasn't, yeah. you know? Yeah. So it's like, okay, well, I'm not going to do a stream, you know, just for, for nothing or just because that's like my normal schedule if, if mm. there is nothing to talk mm -hmm. about. So, but then, you know, same thing with Monica and stuff or, or anyone, like, you know, we all kind of have like different uh, skills and attributes, you know, people mm. might think, oh, they're not the best with, with crypto or they're not the best with this or that. But uh, we all have value that we can bring to the table. And, and you know, that's the beautiful thing that Hexologist, Crypto Stylist, I saw you and Hexo, mm -hmm. uh, you know, he streamed for 572 days in a row during like, know. you know, during the, the lockdown times. And so like, you know, people that couldn't go out and, and see their friends and stuff, we, we kind of formed together and, and unified within the community. So that was awesome. That's amazing. Yeah. That's a lot of days in a row. Let me tell you, when I do four days in a row, I literally need to like take a vacation. It's really <laughs> hard to do. It's a well. How do you function? <laughs> oh, I'm trying. Oh it's impressive. I know. So it's, it's a lot of work. But let's say hi. There's there's some people here. A lot of people showed up for you, Monica and um right. and Brandon. So I'm, there's completion fails is here. Let's go. <laughs> Valiant, of course, you're here before. <laughs> Brizology. Hi, Brizology. Hex on Air is here. Yo, with Mo and Co. <laughs> That's cute. Mo and Co. We should have a show called Mo and Co. I kind of dig that, actually. I yeah, I like that. that sounds good. And <laughs> Red Squirrel is here. Buffo on the beat. Good evening, family. And then Joe Venuto, like my, he's my number one. So like when I figure out how to make somebody a moderator, I'm going to make him my first moderator because he's really good. Gives me feedback. He's a, been to every one of my streams. And I really appreciate you, Joe. Oh. And then Michelle is here. Hi, Michelle. Good afternoon. Um, D3WO. How would you say that, Valia Brand? Uh, let me scroll back over and, and take a look. Uh, yeah. D3WO? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hit the like. Hit the like. See, I said it. I, I'm like so bad about saying hit the like and subscribe. And subscribe. subscribe also in the description is to subscribe to Mo, uh, Mo Fit Meals and also subscribe <laughs> to Valley at Brand and also all their Twitters and all their social media accounts. So just take a second to do that. It would be greatly appreciated. And then we have um, Crypto Games Club is here. Wait, I think I just skipped a bunch of people. See, I'm not used to having so many people. I'm very bad at managing this when it when it gets crowded. The other night with RG3, I almost had a heart attack. I was like, I can't handle all these people. I don't know what to do. I'm so confused. Jen Hex, Sandy B, hello. Oh, first timer here. Happy I caught a live. Nice. Hi, Sandy B, welcome. Crypto Surfer 369. Monica would love to try these fit meals. Yeah, we're going to talk about mm -hmm. Crypto Surfer. We're going to talk about these fit meals because I am super crazy. I have a million questions because I'm trying to do keto, but I love pancakes and I like everything carby. It looks like oh, yeah. she's able to kind of make stuff that's good. Um, Jen Hex, hello, folks. Thomas Turner. Hi, guys. Love the faces. Oh, thank you. That's really nice. 
And then we have Steve D. Hey, Brand, KS, and Monica, thank you for streaming for the community. Brings everybody together. You're welcome, and thank you for coming. And I'm really grateful that um, that that MoFit Meals and Valiant Brand are here. Hexographer, there you go. And then we have, oh my gosh, there's so many people here. Your Excellence, the name, the name master. I like that name. Yeah. I love did you name. see? Did you see? Did you see the dragon lady meme? Yeah, he did the, And then he did a samurai lady meme. <laughs> I have all these memes now that your Excellence so kindly sent to me. Is wondering why I'm not posting them. I'm not posting them because then that perpetuates the name that I don't want. That RG3 gave me. It's his fault. And then there's <laughs> <laughs> there's lazy. The memes are never ending. I did, have you been memed by it? I I surprisingly haven't. I was actually uh, I was yeah. You're was too curious. nice. I'm, I'm glad I haven't. You know, people think I'm but, bitches uh, and they don't. mean me. It's not nice. <laughs> no, but it's it, it's I funny, have... you know, because like, uh, like one person I follow just real quick says like, you know, I don't I don't trust anyone without a sense of humor, you know. So <laughs> I kind of agree with that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, I I have a kind of a resting bitch face, so it's easy to meet me. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> yeah, no, I do. It's really scary. I've I never noticed that. No. I mean, you no, know, just watch me. Like when I'm like sitting still, I look like I'm gonna kill somebody, and I'm really not a mean person. I just look. Mean. So, and then here's L Carter Yo Yo. Okay, and then my online ghost. Hi, and then all hex work all afternoon. Beautiful people, so nice. And then all hex working 67. I'm doing keto combined with intermittent fasting. Okay, so yes, that's, good. that's good, right? So Monica, talk to us about nutrition because I know that most okay. meals and you used you said you used to have a business where you like made prepared food for a lot of people, right. but it became overwhelming and you're you're mm -hmm. not doing it for so much for as a business. But I see yes. on your YouTube channel that there's a lot of shows with recipes and you cooking and some things that look incredible and it looks like it's all keto. So tell us about your kind of basic philosophy for nutrition. Well, I like to call it keto-ish because it's not necessarily keto. I mo mostly focus on protein and I've talked to Valiant Brown about this and a couple mm -hmm. of others. Um, and I've been doing, I'm not a nutritionist, so no nutritional advice, Okay, but <laughs> I do um, enjoy it. I've always been into working out. When I was little, I was picked on. You know, nobody, you know, my kids and kids are me. So They're I didn't so want to be picked on I know. And I was chubby, so I didn't, you know, I needed to figure that out. And then, um, you know, just getting older, growing, maturing, started to work out a lot. Um, and I started to figure out food. I really actually love to be in the kitchen. It's probably my favorite thing to do. That's fine. It's actually where I find some comfort. Um, I know a lot of people that get stressed out in the kitchen. They don't even know how to boil water. But mm -hmm. at this point, you know, for me, it's like a, I, it helps set and like get me sane. And so um, at the gym, I would bring food, my own. I would prep it. And then people started to ask me, do you cook too for other people and all this stuff? So then I thought, oh, that'd be fun because I already make it for me. And why not make it for others? So that's kind of like what happened. I just started to make it for others because they were asking. I mm -hmm. a little clientele. I didn't think it was going to take that much time, but it actually ended up taking a lot yeah. of time. And I'm a mom. So it, you know, I, and dropping off at school and coming back and forth, it just kind of made it hard. Mm -hmm. um, but the most I would make is about, I want to say, I can't remember. This is about four or five years ago now, but I was about 142 meals a week. And then, um, you know, I just ended up saying, yeah, that's it. I can't because I have a small kitchen. Thought about going into, you know, the restaurant mode, but it just didn't happen. It was just not going to happen. So um, fast forward, when COVID hit, I started to, you know, get bored. I'm a loan officer too, by the way. I did this for oh, that for a long time. So, okay. And then um, just figured, well, I'll do that on the side because I'm really part-time loan officer. And then started to cook because people started asking again about my food, which is probably the most the biggest compliment ever when people ask about food. Um, that means they like it. And so started doing a video and then did one and then two and then three and so on. I did about maybe 20 of them. And yeah. then I got introduced to uh, Hex. So everything shifted and now I'm, I'm in Hex mode. I can't even. <laughs> okay. Okay. Monica, when was that? When did you get introduced to Hex? It was last October. And I think oh, it was so. about 
mm -hmm. high 40, like 48 cents, something like that. It was a friend of a friend, very um, grateful for him. He helped me with everything, set me up. I mean, the best way you can with a ledger, with, um, you know, making sure I have my own PC dedicated to crypto. Oh, okay, um, you did it right. Uh -huh. Everything, everything right. And like making sure I get even the steel plates so that I, yeah. you know, um, put all my seed words on there. But yeah. I, you know, I didn't know how to do all these transactions. I didn't even know what DeFi meant, what decentralized meant. I only know of Robinhood at that time. Mm -hmm. So I, you know, picked up a lot. I'm a good listener. I ask a lot of questions, but I don't mm -hmm. talk the crypto talk. It's I just, okay. I just don't. But at the same time, if somebody asked me what to do, like, you know, my neighbor, for example, mm -hmm. I would show them exactly what to do because I've been doing it now. I've been being able to do transactions, buy hex, do some swapping, trading, going on the test net. But I still, like I called you, Brandon, I'm like, um, how do I do this? And how do I do that? It just gets, everybody's so helpful, by the way. So I've learned so, a lot. So. I've okay. learned a lot. So helpful. I'm lucky. My first crypto was Hex. So, I mean, a lot of people have had some ups and downs and lucky for me, I haven't, I've been great. No complaints. That's a really, I love good, her too. That's a really good first one. My first one um, was the Pulse Chain launch. So it's, I guess it's technically not out yet, but that was my first foray into it. So I feel really lucky because you hear all these stories about like the OG, like when I interviewed Crypto Coffee, I was like, so was it always Hex? And he's like, oh no. <laughs> he's like, before <laughs> I used to like trade and I'm like, oh, how did that go? He's like, not so good. <laughs> you, know, he's like, you know, the people kind of had to kind of go through some hard lessons to kind of really figure it out. And so I feel so grateful for people like him and for Bally at Brand and for Richard who are like, do not trade. You will get wrecked because okay. you watch all these other influencers, the kind of degenerate ones, and they're telling you to trade. They're telling you buy these coins and flip it and do this and then take the you know earnings out now. And you, you can get really into that. And it's super, you know, um, it's so volatile, it's unstable if you don't really know what you're doing. And a lot of them are shilling. So it's just kind of like, I feel so lucky and you must, I mean, good for you that you got into Hex and that's just like, you, you started there and you stayed there and you're steady yes. and you're just like, you're doing it right. You are well, fortunate. I should get a, a shout out to even RG3. Like he happens to live near and by. And so he helped me with a lot of information, just getting mm -hmm. the overall picture of it, what it does, why it's important, you know, stick with it, hold it, all those types of things. So it's mm -hmm. really I'm really lucky. I can't, you know, mm. say it enough. Mm. And then Pulse Chain. And then, so if you got in in October, you missed the Pulse Chain launch, but then Pulse X, did you? Yeah, I, I okay. did. Of course, I went into that because I did miss Pulse Chain. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I, when was that launch? Like, well, when was it announced? July, right? Like last July, was mm -hmm. it? So you guys are coming up almost in a year. So I can only imagine mm -hmm. how... Um, Anxious at the same time, I, I guess we should say patient too, right? Because mm -hmm. we want it to be right. And uh, we know that uh, Richard and his devs are doing an amazing job just keeping us, you know, at least, I mean, at least uh, up and aware, right? Like he's, they're mm -hmm. not giving us two more weeks. Well, actually, what happened this morning? Are we getting another two weeks? Do you think? Ish. Yeah, I mean, oh. Richard Richard did kind of comment uh, some sort. He had said some sort of bugs that could could make the network like not halt, but like pause and then things like that. So so yeah, it does kind of it does kind of seem that way. Yeah. Um, but you know, honestly, for for how long we've waited, uh, I mean, what is another couple more <laughs> weeks? You know, it's, yeah. it's it's interesting that uh, and you guys talk about too, like. You know, the first crypto that she got in was Pulse Chain and the other mm -hmm. first crypto was was Hex because, you know, Richard talks about the analogy of like everyone knows like the analogy of like the the mom that tells the kid not to to touch the the hot stove, you know, mm -hmm. and you don't always have to touch the stove to, to learn the lesson. So mm -hmm. when you mention, you know, crypto coffee with with the trading mm -hmm. or or, you know, with you two ladies getting into kind of like the the best ecosystem and community and, and you know, cryptos that will obviously be launched in the future. That's exciting, you know, because mm -hmm. it's not fun to see people get wrecked. Uh, right. Yeah, so that's cool. Yeah, no, it's it's so difficult. And then, and then Monica, you're um, you go, you attend a lot of streams. Like you're in yes, the chat, and you don't 
I mean, it's not you're just dropping in and saying hello and then bouncing. You stay the whole time and you I'm comment, and you participate. Right. I, I do. think that you do talk crypto because I've seen you in the chats. Maybe you don't feel confident and you don't want to own that. And that's okay because sometimes I, I feel shy about talking crypto sometimes too. But I, I think that you show that you have a very good handle on it. I mean, I've seen mm. you in the chats. Like you talk about it. Well, I have like I want to have strategy. I want to be smart about what I'm going to do next. I have Pulse X. Um, you know, I'm ready for that. I don't have Pulse Chain, so I need to find a way to get that. And mm -hmm. I don't want to do anything pre-bridge just because I'm not comfortable. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know. I know there's liquidity pool options out there, mm -hmm. but I'm not comfortable because I always feel yeah. like, mm -hmm. yeah, and I don't want to mess with it. Um, yeah. Because when it comes to real money, right, who doesn't want mm -hmm. to do that? Not to mention, I'm, I'm, you know, Hex fits me like a glove. I mean, to be honest, the whole point of it is to delay gratification, right? So I'm staked out for 15 years. I've actually set nice. myself up pretty nicely. I don't know if I should um, stake again now or do I wait till Pulse comes out? I'm satisfied with my portfolio because I know what's coming up. But, um, mm -hmm. you know, I also tapped into Maxi, of course, and Hedron. So mm -hmm. I'm ready. I mean, and again, I'm so grateful for the community. I mean, coffee, heartbeat, uh, mm. rags. Mm. Uh, I, I mean, there's so many out there that are so helpful. Mm. Um, Hexiest, I see him. He's like, they're, everybody's He's ask, letting me ask these questions and they come back with answers and are supportive. And mm. I mean, that's what I probably, what makes this even stronger for me to hold on to because the community is just amazing. Like This I'm is the best community. This is the best community. And maybe in the last week, there's been <laughs> some issues but you know we're not gonna talk about that i think that's i just say you know it's nice to be nice it really is i was told that when i was yeah, little you say that a lot on stream and i love that you say that it's true it really it's, is and you know, it's nice to be nice did you guys is. catch um richard's stream today yes okay. you know i, I did <laughs> yeah i caught it i thought it was really good i thought that he was really great with the girls you know i thought yeah. he did a good job I like um, that Brandon. jacket on him. He looks good with that jacket. He looks awesome. good with the jacket. Looks good. Um, and the girls were pretty, of course. So it's, you know, what a great way to, you know, marketing, right? I mean, he did a they good were, job. They asked good questions. I thought they were, they composed themselves well. They looked, you know, they were very professional, I thought. And um, yeah, I mean, God, they were so pretty. Um, but I think that he did a good job. I, I really liked the tone that he took. He was really respectful. Um, you know, they were asking very beginner questions because they're new and, and he was very patient with them. And I just think that that's a good way, like maybe, you know, I just try to select material for people who want to know who the founder is, who, who don't know and who aren't into crypto. I, I think that's a good video. I mean, that could be a good mm -hmm. video to show. Um, and then I like the one with my Mei Lin, that video, I think it's a really mm -hmm. good video. Yeah. Okay. Monica, did you see the video? It was, it was pretty supported. And a lot of people watched, I think it's like in the hundreds of thousands now of views because she's really, she's a big influencer and um, she did her research. So she asked him questions like, she's like, I know that you were Mensa when you were little and they found you were, you learned how you taught yourself how to read and you learned how to read at age three. And she like knew his whole background. Like she, she went, she did her homework and he mm. didn't even flinch and he just they just went it was it was one of the best interviews i've seen him do and so that's actually the one that i send people to see but if you really want to see mm. who richard is and you know and what i think he's about without the noise watch this interview because you get the essence of him and the best of him you know and that's you i mean he's human you know and and he mm. is polarizing but this this interview is very good to show people i think yeah 622 you know, that's what i like about him he's uh just yeah. Down on earth. Yeah. He's real. I think I'm losing you guys. Are you losing us? No. Okay. Do you want to? You should be good. You okay? Okay. Um, I think, so. I think it's kind of jumping out. Hey. I love seeing all you guys. <laughs> hey. Heck yeah. His stream with uh, with with yourself and and with Hexius Man in the world was was really good too. And uh, you know that is the thing that like no one is a like no one's above correction. Like no one's not gonna or no one's gonna have all of the answers per se at once. And like the cool thing is is that the community is so vast that mm -hmm. we can all kind of learn from each other. Because mm -hmm. you know same thing. Like Richard had a pretty well 
not spicy, but he had a he had a pretty one directional uh, take, I guess, on on NFTs when you know certain acronyms and things like that. And then when people like when Crypto Kool Aid initially told me about you know Hedron and NFTs and things, it's like, mm -hmm. oh, okay, so it's not just pixelated JPEGs. And then uh, your guys' stream with uh, with him and Hexius Man in the world was good. But Monica, do you have a do you have a Hex earring? Is that what I see? Yes, you see. You notice? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, that's cool. wait, that's can cool. we? You can you see okay. that? I mean, that's Thank so you. cool. <laughs> I'm, I'm, you know what's funny is everything I see these days is hex now. It doesn't happen <laughs> to you guys. And it's like on my yeah. tiles in the house. My kids have their scooters, and there's like hexagons on their scooter wheels, and you know, <laughs> it's just fun. It's cute, um, and I feel like that's all like a purpose, right? Yeah. Was it you, Brandon, that mentioned something about what the hex means? Did you tell me that? Um, I, I don't know, but I know it's like the strongest polygon and kind of like structure that, you know, Richard's kind of talked about that. Uh, um, but yeah, he had mentioned the same thing. Maybe it was uh, Richard that had said like anytime you like see them in, in nature, in the real world, kind of think of hex, you know. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. It's just such an easy like three, three letter dot com domain and all these other things. Like when I was in Portland just the other day on Saturday, you know, the wallpapers and everything. So yeah. it's cool to notice those things. I mean, I watch like all those home TV shows and there's hexes, uh, hexagons everywhere. So it makes me want to do what's my next upgrade. If I do one, I'm going to get something shaped like a hexagon. I mean, it means something to me now. <laughs> yeah, it definitely means something. It means something to a lot of people in this community. I think it's so great. I, I like it. I think it's a good logo. That's the first thing I said to Richard is like, you have a good logo. He's like, I know. Yeah, I have a question. For you, for Silas, like, how did you meet Richard? Or how did you come across and start working with him? Um, so Brandon knows the story, but um, I work in a fashion um, company and I wanted to do something with a hex brand. So I contacted him via email and I'm like, this dude's mm. never going to, the crypto people don't email, but I, I wanted to look professional. So I emailed him from my, my company email. So I didn't want to look like some weirdo, you know, from my personal email. And so I emailed him and he, he emailed me back. He's like, I never checked my email, but for some reason I checked it today. Oh, and he's like, and I'm glad I did. So he wrote me back. And then he's like, okay, somebody's going to call you. Okay, great. I'm sure he has people. Somebody's going to call me. I would say it's like a month later. I kind of not forget about it, but it just, I got, we got busy and I got busy and, you know, wasn't thinking about it. And I got this call from a country that I'd never gotten a call from before. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I wonder who this is. And so I picked it up and he's like, hi, this is Richard Hart. And I was like, I literally, I think I fell down. <laughs> <laughs> so shocked. I mean, I didn't know, you know, it's not like I have him on caller ID. I didn't know him. And he called yep. me and I was like, oh my God. So we just talked about like doing something together because I wanted to promote Hex as a brand to, you know, different audiences. So that's something. So we, we've been friends ever since. He's, he's yeah. cool. <laughs> I like that. I actually got a chance to talk to him at the conference oh, in did. Las Vegas. Yeah, but it was, um, it was, I mean, it was, it was, I remember it was hot up there because everybody's in line. The lights are beaming on you. And I remember, like a lame I said, gosh, it's hot in here. And I'm like, that's how I started. I mean, <laughs> but um, very nice. Answered my question. I can't even remember the question anymore. Oh, yeah. it was, um, if I should um, do anything pre-bridge. That's what I asked. And he oh, was. Good yeah. question. Yeah. Good and question. then just because at that time I didn't know um, what was going to happen. I don't think a lot of us did. I had, I have to go back and listen to it now, but. Mm -hmm. Very you know, helpful. And I just like that he's so almost accessible, but not accessible, you know, like mm -hmm. he's constantly throwing out information, um, giving updates, um, whether we like them or not. Um, but, you know, it's all about patience. <laughs> I'm worry. all about, I'm okay with pay. I'm okay with, wait, and maybe I shouldn't say this out loud because obviously we all want Pulse Chain and Pulse X to come out the sooner the better. But at the same time, I'm, I have this whole saving mind frame that, you know, with kids, I've always thought you're supposed to plan for the future. I, I, I'm when I say things, I act like it doesn't exist anymore. So for mm. me, I don't even look at the hex price anymore. If I know it's because of somebody's commenting it, which I mm. appreciate, mm. but I mean, it won't affect me. Not not now anyway. You know? Yeah, I'm the same. I don't like stare at the chart all day long because I'm like it's gonna yeah. it's gonna eventually go back up. So I'm not really worried mm. about it. I'm gonna look for dips so I can buy the dips, but that's the only sure. time. So sure. I'm like the opposite. I get excited when it goes down because I'm like. Ooh, goodbye because like you I, I got in you know i got in a little bit before you monica but not that much more before you so i got in at 17 mm -hmm. cents 
So now it's cheaper than when I got in. And then that, after that 17 cents, that bull run was insanity, as I'm sure you guys all remember. Yeah, I'm like, like a drug, what? yeah. <laughs> this crypto is awesome. It went up to 55 cents. I mean, every day it was just like up and up and up. It did not mm -hmm. even waver. It didn't even correct. And I was like, this is nuts. And so I went crazy. I went, I like, I went for it. I completely stopped shopping, which for me is a big deal. <laughs> I'm like, I have no new clothes. I bought all hex and I went oh, on. Speaking of shopping, girl, you need to talk to me about my clothes, my <laughs> hair, whatever. I love that stuff. I'll wait until I'll wait till I can afford you. <laughs> but um, yeah, I think you're like, you've got great taste. I love what you're wearing. A belly, I love what you're wearing too, by the way. <laughs> yeah, belly, <Valley, laughs> great. And I love your hair. I really oh, your hair. Your hair. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Monica, I love your Appreciate top. It. The print is oh, good. You. I like the cut. Yeah, is it kind of an animal print, but with a light yeah. color? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I like I'm obsessed it. with leopard print. Anything leopard, I, I would like it. My mom always liked it, so um, I just. You know, by the way, I should probably let you guys know I'm a twin. Did you? Uh, did I ever tell anybody? No. I'm a twin. I'm a fraternal. She's five two. I'm five seven. So there's a big difference, but we both wear animal prints, and it's interesting because. If we see each other, sometimes we're wearing something very similar without planning. Mm -hmm. So if any twins out there can relate, that's, cool. that's kind of cool. Um, but she, when, my brother-in-law, as soon as I talk to him about Hex or anything crypto, nope, he shuts it mm -hmm. off. He's not interested. <laughs> but um, I'm trying, you know, I think that uh, all I can do is say it. If somebody has, you know, is turns the, my way and when I say crypto, then I'll keep talking. Um, if not, then I just let it be because I almost feel like I'm pressuring too much. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, no, I, I know. I, I've gotten family. to this point where when I socialize, I'm becoming such a degenerate that I'm like, I'll meet people and I'm like, are you into crypto? And if they're like, no, and then I'm like, well, boy. <laughs> but it's like, yes, <laughs> and I, like, and I glom onto them and I'm like, let's talk. What are you into? What do you like? You know, hex? <laughs> we like get into it. And that's how I like choose my social circles now. <laughs> are you into crypto? Can we talk? Because I don't really want to talk about anything else. Nothing else. Oh, yeah, what do you know? What do you follow? What do you do? What do you do? What do you think about this? <laughs> But, um, but, you know, like, you know, at least set up, you know, the kids and, you know, trying to set up something, you know, um, just because I don't want anybody else to miss out. I just feel very fortunate that I somehow came and crossed paths with Hex. Mm -hmm. And so, um, and, and with that said, I feel very rich already. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I haven't um, received, I have, we haven't, I've been awarded yet, but at the same time, I just feel like I'm waking up every day something fresh and mm -hmm. I'm feeling like, oh, I'm excited. What's going to happen? Something cool is going to happen. I can feel it on my bones, at least 2022, right? Oh, no, but I feel it for summer. I, I feel it. I feel there's like an energy. I think that's part of why there's this been a oh, kind of a weird week, you know? Usually before mm -hmm. something really big happens, yeah. it gets nuts. And this week was nuts. Calm before the storm. Yeah, the calm yeah, before I the storm. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. So, um... Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I think um, it'll be, yeah, it's going to be exciting. It's going to be really, really exciting so summer. See. What's your, both, both of your moves? Like, what are you guys doing when it launches? Are you going to sit on your hands and, like, do nothing? Or are you guys going to plan on doing something when it launches? Like, what are you thinking? Brandon, what are you going to do? Yeah, yeah. So, um, so as far as the Pulse bag just gonna leave it you know leave it sit and leave it be you know so, and sometimes that can be a strategy sometimes people say like because we've never really seen anything like this right like mm -hmm. with with the hex staking it's kind of simple you mentioned mm -hmm. you know set it and forget it things like that but with there's with pulse or with these other things there's you know there's so many more options that we haven't been exposed to before mm -hmm. but you know existed in say ethereum but so for me i'm going to take the pulse x and just stake that because at least that's you know single-sided and yep. you know there's really no risk of impermanent yep. loss as there is with yep. say putting the pair on both sides and then as far as the uh the pulse goes and and even the hex and stuff like that it's just like i'm just sitting on what i have you know comfortable with with what it's doing and, and yeah once again sometimes the strategy can can really just be doing nothing that can be sometimes <sighs> the best strategy because you know, I said it in my stream the other day, but you get people that are like super click happy, you know, and they're just yeah. clicking here, clicking there and and going with where everyone else is going. Uh, but sometimes that can, you know, that can bite you in the butt, uh, yep. you know, later down. I'm risk averse. I don't want risk. So I'm going to do single risk averse. Staking. Yeah, <laughs> I don't want to do risk. My job is like so risky. I gamble. We gamble for a living. My colleague is here. Um, and um, 
I gamble for a living. I buy a bunch of shit and I hope to God it sells. I was going to lose my job. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to send it back at the end. I'm like, oh shit, I messed that up. <laughs> and I invest a lot of money. Of so it's like, oh, they're like, are you sure? I'm like, God, you better hope, you better hope that I'm right. <laughs> um, <laughs> but we have to say hi to rags because that was, you know, typical rags. <laughs> Three of my babies are saying kind of. Is there reluctance because of me? Is that what it is? Because it probably is. <laughs> okay. Rags is great. You. I love him. Okay. Brandon, you'll know this. Is this a fake crypto coffee or is that really crypto coffee? No, we hate crypto coffee. What's up? <laughs> I don't I don't know. I don't know. I is mean that really crypto coffee. I don't, I don't know why why he uh, some sometimes like if I if I were to, to log into my email, it would show up as, as Brandon Balliette versus Balliette brand. I'm not too sure. I don't know why. If it was, you know, if it is, then then you know, prove it by switching over to crypto coffee, and then <laughs> switch you over. You otherwise, know it's, it's you. Like, <laughs> I know that you know it's you. <laughs> Listen, man. Give me I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. No, I think it's really him. So yeah, I, I haven't seen it in a while. Him. Yeah, I haven't seen him in a while. Hang on, wait. What he had a stream yesterday. yesterday. Mm hmm. I saw him I when he was on again. with. I saw him when he was on with Hexo, and it was really fun. It was a really fun stream to watch. Did you guys see that? Yeah. Cool. Hexo is fun. So He's co just a fun coffee person. and um, coffee and Valiant and uh, Crypto Heartbeat Rags. They were at, like my I think my first four, and I have to give them all the thanks because they're the ones that really helped me learn what to do. Like. Uh, at least with YouTube streams. Then, of course, I have to say Hex to Learn is super helpful, famous. He's always helping on the Twitter spaces. A lot of mm -hmm. those guys up there, too, are great. And um, that's what's helping me learn. Like, I have, I onboarded my friend. I'm sure you remember Balliot. Um, you, you met them a couple mm -hmm. of people. I got a chance to meet everybody in conference in Las Vegas. But I onboarded my friend. I'm like, will you go with me to this, you know, this conference? And she said, sure. And I love her because she did. Mm -hmm. And she became... Mm -hmm. um, a hexagon from there, right? So mm -hmm. I almost felt like I have this ultimate responsibility now that I got her on, like, oh shoot, I better make sure she does it right and you know, mm -hmm. gets her hedron and gets her maxi and all that stuff too. Um, but I wouldn't have done it without the help of you know all these streamers and mm -hmm. RG and yeah, and coffee. I mean, all of you guys are so helpful. I mean, I and look, graphics, crypto graphics, another favorite. Mm -hmm. like, crypto graphics, you guys. Is so hey, you happen to be here. <laughs> Yeah, he's awesome. here. He's That's here. Awesome. And that he's, guy's so cool. He's he's killing it. He's got so yeah. many subs in like five minutes. I'm like, how did you do that? Like, what? How did you do? <laughs> that? I remember finding him on a drive. I remember finding him on a drive, and I I I, I walk him and do a lot of hikings, and so that's how I take the time to listen to all these streams because they're you know they can go three hours long, but that's how I started to learn and listen and listen. And with my driving, I would just put it up and. I noticed I have to stop with this because he actually had slides and I wanted to read the mm. slides and uh, I need, I'm the kind of person that needs to go back and rewind to soak, like soak it all in. Right. Same, same. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I would say, okay, reserve. I have to look at these slides and I would have my iMac next to me with my, you know, crypto computer and trying to do the stuff. He literally like, <laughs> so that's the kind of, you know, appreciation I have just for the community because they're just mm. helping me. I'm brand new to crypto. I didn't know anything, you know, anything crypto besides food. I only knew food and kids, <laughs> kids, kids, food, baseball, that kind of stuff. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. I think crypto graphics is really good at helping people figure out like how to, the how to of it, you know, and also the why he does a lot of analysis and like goes really deep into game theory because he really understands it very well. But um, I, we did a stream together where I helped him start the launch of his line. So we're like kind of going through, we need to crypto graphics, get back on it and get yeah. back on stream. But we're gonna, we're gonna track the progress of him launching a clothing line and, and like me kind of doing it with him. So we had like the audience, um, the, the, the chat vote on like which print, which you know, print they liked the best, which color, where the placement, it was fun like to get them to participate and, and see and like build a clothing line. And it's really nice. His line and his graphics really cool. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, Brandon, do you do clothing as well? Brandon, do you make your own clothing? No? No. Uh, I, I tried <laughs> when it first came out because, like, you know, 
uh, Richard's like, yeah, you know, there's no one that can really make a business from this and things like that. You know, mm -hmm. you could get sued from the logo and copyright. And then people just started doing it. Um, mm -hmm. so, so I printed my own logo on a couple of shirts and sweaters and tank tops and stuff, but, um, but I didn't do, it's either, so I think I did like direct to garment and I should have done the vinyl, uh, mm -hmm. I think with like CMYK mm -hmm. or RGB, one of those color styles. Mm -hmm. So anyways, I just, I just buy my stuff on anymore. It's like hexmerch.com. Like I got, you know, a little pillow and things like that. Oh, I love that. that. Place. I got, I got the same pillow, but you know, with a different color scheme, you know, and then oh, that's pillow, cool. And, little vinyl uh, well, actually, I can't see it because it's on my bed but uh you know like uh one second here big uh big pulse you know I like that little, little <laughs> flag type of deal so I'll fly this you're, somewhere you're Louis probably not gonna put it on the house I just noticed you know? that too. <laughs> <laughs> listen Brandon fake, you're fake gonna you, you, it's, you know Louis Vuitton's hardcore about their copyright trademark so just be careful hey, uh -oh. that wasn't me that did it <laughs> I, I didn't make it. Someone else did. So I'm just. My consumer. channel's gonna get pulled now. I'm gonna be like, great. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't me. <laughs> it's like that song. That wasn't me. Hex, Hex Toys has a little action figure of Richard, and it has a little Louis Vuitton backpack on the action figure, and I'm like, flipped out. I was like, Richard, this like a lawsuit waiting and happening. Like, it's not me. I'm like, okay, if you were Louis Vuitton and you found that <laughs> backpack on your action figure, who are you gonna go after? They're gonna go after mm. you because you're the deep mm. pockets, you know. <laughs> oh, he just laughed. He doesn't care. He still has it. It's still out there. I'm like, all right. <laughs> That's so funny. funny. Ask know. for forgiveness later. Sometimes. I guess. I mean, he spends so much money there. I guess I'll just <laughs> kind of turn a blind eye. Um, <laughs> okay. Well. Well, I guess you know. When do you guys think? So you think two weeks? You think in June then? That's when, that's when it's going to launch, Pulse Chain? Well, I was thinking this week, but now after today's stream, because isn't he supposed to stream tomorrow too? Yeah, so, he's streaming tomorrow with the director of the documentary. Yeah. I'm excited so we, that. Me too. That'll actually be interesting to see too, because I, you know, who doesn't like to see good TV these days, but especially for him. But I, get, I was thinking this week just because of the stream tomorrow, but then today's stream was a surprise. And now I'm like, I don't even know anymore. But it would be nice, you know? I know we're all kind of anxious. Yeah. I Probably mean, said the same thing. Oh, yeah. But, um, Monica, I'm with you in that I'd rather wait for it to do mm -hmm. it when he feels good about it. Because once it's there, you can't take it back. Right. And if it's not perfectly, like already, then, you know, we don't want to be like, the other networks that go down all the time, which we won't be because it's been tested and audited so many times. But you know, that's what we appreciate about him. So I don't mind waiting, even though I'm really, I really want it to launch, but I don't, I'd rather wait if it means that it's going to be a better, you know, so. Yeah, but it's, it's trippy because when it happens, it's almost like, okay, now what? Right. Mm -hmm. And I have a plan. I wrote it down, you know, I, but anything can change. You know, I do want to do the single side staking too, like you, Valiant. Um, but I was thinking, um, you know, is that going to be available right away? I'm going to be streaming yeah. live. Woohoo! Yeah. <laughs> so Craig! <laughs> <laughs> I'll be making, oh, that's what it was. We talked about yeah, you can make some I'll keto. Be He's trying not to eat carbs. You could be. I do a chicken pizza. I do a chicken pizza. I got that. I mean, all my oh, stuff is yeah. researched. I, but there's a way I found out how to do a chicken crust pizza. I found out how to do an egg white, like bread substitute. I'm all about substitutions. Okay, so, seriously, can can I move in with you? I'm gonna move back to LA and I'm gonna move in. I would make you taste everything and just stare at you and say, okay, what do you think? What do you think? And my fingers would be so nervous. But <laughs> what's, your, what's your money dish, Monica? What's the dish? I was like, oh. You got to have this. You know, breakfast was always the thing. And I think it's because, I, I mean, I love breakfast for dinner. I don't know about you guys, but I mm. always figure out ways to do things with eggs because, yeah. you know, I, eggs to me are like, they're great for keto and they're great for high protein. And I've talked mm. to a couple of hexagons that I'm, you know, pick, they want to pick my brains. And I'm like, yes, let's talk about it because there's different ways to help, I don't know, reduce calories by going mm -hmm. more protein at the same time, mm -hmm. you know, keeping your muscle, but I'm not a nutritionist. You know, I, we've got, we've got, you know, rags and we've got Sam Stolt to do that stuff. 
Um, mm -hmm. But, and they're really good at that. So, and it's fun to see everybody just have a, a goal, right? Like, um, I know I still have one. I mean, who wants to gain extra weight? You know what I mean? And yeah. I, I've gained some, I'm like, okay, I got to just get back on track here, you know, but, but then I get back in the kitchen and if I'm fasting, for example, I have to cook for my kids and I'm thinking, oh, great food's right in front of me. Who doesn't want to eat the food in front of you? I, right. I know if it's in front of me, that's my problem. <laughs> I can't keep it in my house. Joe Terranova's mm -hmm. is chicken pizza. Sounds yeah. like chicken parm, but different name, but no, it's not right. It's really no. like a crust. Yeah, it's like a crust and um, you can get chicken breast basically. Um, I can't remember what side I found it on, but you get chicken breast, you kind of dry it out and then you put an egg um, and some cheese if you if you like cheese and you kind of mold it together like a pizza and you make it like a pizza crust. And then you put toppings on it like pizza topping. Like, mm -hmm. And then, you know, you, you have to always keep in your head that you're never going to have the exact same pizza taste. But if you mm -hmm. want to change your lifestyle and, you know, become um you know uh, healthier you have to find alternatives and it and twist your brain to make it you know what this freaking tastes like flipping pizza and it tastes great okay so that Monica, are you anti-simple carbs then like you don't touch bread you don't touch rice I don't, yeah i haven't touched well i'll do that once in a while like i started um stolt i uh i remember he posted something about plantains and i thought okay because that's good for the gut and he told me about yeah. that too so i'm like okay I'll, I'll try that. So I started to incorporate that. And even that is what he calls a resistance starch. So that's something that technically isn't a carb, I guess, but I have to look that up a little bit more, but it's just good for your gut for di proper digestion. Really? And I feel like it make you fat. Plantains no. and bananas, I just feel like they make you fat. I don't know. I, I think bananas because of the sugar. Yeah, because yeah. of the sugar. But like then have other ways, like I make protein breads and um, you know, just egg, a lot of eggs and eat the good vegetables that don't have the starches like asparagus, cucumbers, yeah. mushrooms, that kind of stuff. Cause you still need, uh, you know, um, some sort of veggie in your diet and you'll get bored. Right. So yeah. just keep it exciting. Keto wish like every, who doesn't want peanut butter? Who doesn't like avocados? Sometimes they get a hard boiled egg and you wrap prosciutto on it and bake it. And all of a sudden it tastes like a little hors d'oeuvre. It's delicious. So it's just being open-minded me outside of the box bananas really make good. me fat if <laughs> i don't know do I convert, it, I don't it know. converts into sugar that's why i don't touch bananas but plantains if it's going to help my gut you know make me feel better and actually um you know be able to take in the nutrition that i need then i'm going to try it see what happens if it makes me fat then i'll turn over <laughs> did you guys are you guys doing the fitness challenge I am. Mm -hmm. you are doing it? Okay. I am. But I keep forgetting. I don't know about you, Valiant, but I keep forgetting to log in some stuff. So I'm not. Yeah. I'm I had to move it to like, it. I had to move it to like the the first page on, on my app, like, you know, on the phone, because it was on the second page. And it's like, okay, because I've got like a digital scale too. So it's like, okay, get, well, you know, like the application for the scale. So I got it right next to the, to the scale app. And same thing, my brother's like, He's like, Brand, you're slacking. What's going on? And I was like, Oh, you know, crap. You know, missed a whole bunch of of logs too. But but the point is, is is yeah. Now it's it's a little bit more consistent. And you know, the nice thing I've heard I've heard Tendies talk about this, where it's like, you know, because I've mentioned in the past for for me, where you know sometimes it can be. It's just like why everyone else has a, a group or or a religion or a community or things like that, where you can kind of go there for solidarity and to, and to grow together. So with Sam and uh, Jim Rat, they're they're really doing a good job. And like my oldest brother, he uh, he's he's in it, and you know he's staying on track too. So it's it's really exciting. It's uh, motivating a lot of people. Yeah, that's great. I like that about it. It's great because you're now, you know, we are going to, we're staking for 15 years. We got to live for 15 years. Might as well go to help you, right? But fitness, you're right. It doesn't, it's an actual, bananas are actually a sugar. It's, a, it's you know, fruit. Fruit can, you know, is a sugar. So it's a matter of how we uh, take that in. And I cut out fruit. The only ones maybe I, I take in are blackberries is, or even um, just berries. Berries are better. Then. Strawberries are okay, right? Aren't they low glycemic? Yeah. Strawberries? Yeah. You, basically, you don't want to spike the glycemic levels. Exactly. And that's like bread and, you know, 
some, you know, just starches, period, potatoes, things like that. But basically everything that I like to eat. <laughs> everything that you like to eat. <laughs> I did, I have done like a, you know, keto bread and, you know, I don't like to buy anything that says keto on the label. So I'd rather make it. Oh, because it's so expensive. Keto well, bread here yeah. is like $15. I'm like, what? Is it? Yes, wow. It's so expensive. Jeez. Let's talk about inflation. Everything's expensive these days. Yeah. I was just saying yesterday, was it yesterday? We were, um, my son had a tournament for baseball and we were driving mm -hmm. in Las Vegas and we were coming back to California. I'm like looking at gas prices. It was $6.52 for gas. Like it was just crazy, crazy. And it's a dollar less in Nevada, by the way. So that's just the crazy part. Yeah, it's it's absolutely bananas right now what's happening with inflation because you know I live in the UK and I go home every like few months and I went home a month ago and everything in the drugstore I swear was double from the last time I was here. Mm. It just yeah. I, they just jacked up all the prices. I'm like this yeah. is crazy. This is not 8%. This is like double. Yeah. How are people going to survive? It is so it, it's like egregious the situation. Mm -hmm. So there, you know there's the straw that broke the camel's back, right? There's, you know, you mentioned uh, agree, just like if it, it, what what is going on isn't sustainable. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I measure it by the price right. of a Chanel bag, and there's like a chart for a Chanel bag. <laughs> it literally, <laughs> it is the steepest graph I have ever seen. Jeez. I'm like, it's gonna be like a hundred grand to buy Chanel bags in my lifetime. It will be six figures. It will be. <laughs> so, oh my so gosh! Good. Chanel bag price chart. <laughs> Talking politics, <laughs> crypto arts. <laughs> um, okay. Well, I guess. And then PulseCon, are you guys will both be in Vegas? Yeah. Monica, you'll be in Vegas? Yeah. yeah that's yeah. going to be great. I think almost everybody I know is going. We're all going to be there. Yeah. Yeah. There's going to be a lot of people there. My brothers, too, which is exciting because, like, I'm so excited you know. to meet your brothers. Are you bringing your girlfriend, <laughs> Brandon? No, I, do, I purposely don't bring her to the events because, like, I, I don't know. I just keep personal relationship and stuff, yeah. you know, off, like, even on Facebook and, you know, we're friends and stuff and might be friends on Twitter and stuff like that. But I, I just don't like the association, you know, because, like, I don't know. Pe people are, are rude on the Internet and, uh, you know, you just never know when, like, because it's, it's fine if someone wants to, you know, get to me or whatever. But I just I just don't like to. To bring the girlfriend into that stuff i just you know because like we've talked about it before in public like you know it's like we're like making out in public or kissing a whole bunch in public mm -hmm. you see that a lot with other relationships and it's like mm -hmm. yo for me i just save the that stuff for not public you know so for same. me i don't really ever plan on bringing her to uh to those events but but the brothers like you know we don't have that relationship that that i fear for the girlfriend's future so anyways um, yeah, so two of my older brothers, and then uh, one of our brother's best friends, Blake. He's gonna he's gonna be there. So, but it's it's thinking long term, you know, because you mentioned oh the inflation and things like that, and I just think you know 10, 15, you know years down the road or steps ahead, you know, it might not be a problem now, but could be a problem in the future. So I like to think about those. So how many do you guys think will um, be at the conference this time around? How many were, uh, let's see, so last time in March, was it March when we went? I don't remember how many people were there. Well, like 300, 400-ish? I don't so know. This, Maddie would definitely be the guy, yeah. But yeah, he's the one to ask. So my guess is at least going to, you know, reach double, I would imagine, just mm. because it's already talked about so much. And I know I try to get my ticket as soon as possible just because I want to just learn everything and then what's it going to be like then in september you know what's our launch going to look like how are the prices going to look like all that kind of stuff it's exciting we're in a great position like very exciting richard is amazing he really is yeah yeah they've got three thousand tickets for for pulse con and so uh, yeah, they're, they're definitely, you know, and, and the cool thing is, too, is like, you know, and RG3 has talked about this and some of the other people have talked about this, but it's evolved from just Hex. You know, Richard Hart is not just Hex anymore, uh, even yeah. though that's his, you know, first child and stuff like that. Uh, you know, Pulse Chain is a whole ecosystem. And so yeah. it's not like we have to support, 
you know, there's, there's a whole bunch of, you know, maximalism and I don't like this. I don't like that, but, but, uh, you know, you kind of have to embrace, uh, everyone in the, the ecosystem itself, you know, uh, the Ethereans and, and the people, the Binanceans and things like that, uh, people on AVAX and all that, they, they want to place where they can go build as well and and not necessarily be welcomed but also not be shunned either so i think things with uh with PulseCon are really exciting because uh you know everyone kind of just gets to put their stuff out there and the community itself is just going to get bigger and bigger and like people want to be like like motley had mentioned that where where when we were in vegas last time you know people see a group having fun and like it's organic it's not totally you know, chemicals it's or anything exactly. else and they're like wait I want to. I want to be with this group. I want to have fun with these people. What's What's going on? What's this hex thing? Yeah. yeah. Were, were you guys rowdy when you guys were together last the at the last conference? Was it like really high energy and rowdy, and people were like, "No." I thought it was like um, the the parties were great. I mean, that's I got to know. Well, I should say, you know, I thought you all were like celebrities because I got to see all of you on TV. You know, on TV, mm -hmm. YouTube. And so to see you guys in person um, just made it that much, just that connection was even better. You know what I mean? And talking to you, it makes it even better. It's just amazing how accessible everybody is um, and how smart everybody is. And let's, everybody lets me ask questions and I get answers. I like it. I mean, so I have a feeling that it'll be far more intense when we connect in September. Just because the energy is going to be wild, I really believe that it's going to be fun. Yeah, yeah. I can't wait till there's that tipping point, you know, for this mm. ecosystem. That tipping point where it's like everyone talks about it, like, oh my god, you were part of that at you know the sacrifice. Yeah. Yeah. You were part of that day one. You were part of that. Like, oh my god, yeah. like when I meet people who are Bitcoin day one or Bitcoin like early on or Bitcoin fifteen cents, I literally like fangirl out. Not because I want Bitcoin, but just because they were such visionaries to know to get into mm -hmm. that that early because at that time i'm like i was like what the f is cryptocurrency don't even <laughs> talk to me about this this is so stupid you know and i'm like bitcoin i was like Ugh. and now i mean they're laughing all the way to the bank and i'm like okay mm. I, i'm getting into it now just so many years later so I, I think it will be like they'll look at us like wow that's that crazy group mm -hmm. that everyone thought were like maxis and like you know kind of like almost we've been called everything to a cult to like whatever right <laughs> and it's like okay well you know what like yeah that cult was smart and they're rich you know that's, so and they're changing that's the cult world. ever yeah the best cult ever and yeah. i want to be part of that cult so and I, <laughs> but i well, think that, that, that yeah i mean what's cool though and we we always talk about this brandon we talk about this a lot is how mm. hexagons are very we think about how we're going to change the world and make it better. And it's this kind of corny as that sounds, that really is a lot. Like if you look at the actions of a lot of people within this community, and a lot of it actually does stem from Richard for as controversial mm -hmm. as he is, he really does want to make people rich. He wants to see them be financially mm -hmm. free. He doesn't want them to be enslaved by the whole, you know, the fiat system and inflation and all the kind of crappy cryptocurrencies are out there or rug pulls and, all that. So I feel like, you know, within our community, there's this whole kind of ethos about really helping each other and educating people and really kind of enlightening them so they can be free and have a better life. And I think that that's, you know, I, I think that's what sometimes we lose sight of when I see people fighting. I'm like, oh my God, just shut up and just like preach the good stuff and talk about what we should be doing and how we can make the world better. We are sitting and we are so privileged. We're part of the system so early. We're going to be able to do whatever the F we want with our lives, right? And we can mm -hmm. take care of all those people around us. And a lot of us are going to experience even generational wealth, right? And it's like, just don't get caught up in the bullshit, man. You know, and and like the infighting, it's so stupid. We have to hold mm -hmm. hands and like really rise up mm -hmm. together. It's going to go faster if we do it that way. And that's where I got like kind of irritated. I'm not, and this is supposed to be a happy stream. I know I'm preaching, hey. but I can't help it. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm happy. Exactly. I'm happy to be a part of this community. And I just don't want to see any more of this crap. It's like really mm -hmm. annoying because it's yeah. beside the point. You know, it's mm -hmm. like celebrate what you've got and try to get more people into it. Try to save other right. people. That's where mm -hmm. the energy should be. Energy should be. I agree. Yeah. yeah. I just, you know, I think that it just goes back to everybody being anxious again, you know, and um, for me, I want to on board, but my whole mission is okay, how you, you can tell me all the wonderful things. Okay, I'm ready. 
Now it's mm -hmm. part for me is, okay, so now what, what do I do? What's a ledger? How do I get seeds? Um, what's decentralized? How do I move from what's Coinbase? You know, all that mm -hmm. stuff I'm trying to learn in or, te or get myself into the groove so I can tell the next person, okay, you need a Coinbase, you need a MetaMask wallet. You know, all these baby steps to me are what's gonna help onboard somebody. And those are the questions that I have. Like when Pulse Chain does happen, um, how am I gonna see it? Is it gonna be on Staker app? Uh, how am I gonna see my st uh, my stakes on mm. Staker app when mm. they're on uh, Ethereum hacks versus um, Pulse Hex, right? I mean, P Hex. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that kind of stuff I want to know. You know what I mean? And uh, those are the little questions that I always you, wonder about. You should put together a whole list of like like Monica's questions. These are really good questions. And then we should just yeah, have a yeah. panel of people who answer them. I agree. Oh, Monica has yeah, a lot of questions. questions. <laughs> well, yeah, they're questions that I wouldn't, the everyday person, I don't know how to, you know, I don't know how to do it. And if I do see it, okay. You can tell me a hundred ways, but I need to actually physically do it because yep. it's all the difference. MetaMask, okay, so what the what's a MetaMask again? Now that I have it, how many addresses can I get? I mean, those types mm -hmm. of things I want to know, and those are the questions that I ask a lot. It's just because mm -hmm. I'm, I want to be like I still don't know how many addresses I can have on MetaMask, and if I can move unlimited. my ledger. Pardon? It's like unlimited. Yeah. Yeah. And then from there, if I want to move from a ledger to a treasure because, you know, something happened with my ledger, does that make, make even make a difference? That kind mm -hmm. of stuff um, mm -hmm. that I want to be mm -hmm. able to answer uh, well when somebody else I know has a question because I don't have all the answers. But I love mm -hmm. that they're people are accessible to help answer my yeah. question. That's what's cool. There's no other community like this. Wait, yeah. Bitfinesse says it's going to suck when somebody looks back at the opportunity they had and realize they could have built generational wealth and didn't. Knowing where you are and when you're there is crucial. So, That's a good point. Sure. Good point. But another thing is, it's easier said than done. Like, it's not easy buying hex. Mm. And so, um, and I'm just, again, I'm the everyday mom. Like, I didn't know mm. how to do that. So, mm -hmm. The opportunity, I know it's there and somebody else might know it's there, but okay, the biggest step is how do you get there, right? Mm -hmm. um, physically doing it. And that mm -hmm. to me was my challenge. And I'm grateful again that I was able to, but I want to make sure, I almost feel like my family needs to come over and just let me do it for you. You know what I mean? Because it's just easier that way than to go through the whole rundown and share streams. Um, that's just going to take too long. And I don't mm -hmm. want anybody to miss out on the launch and get the fork and, you know, get double opportunity, free airdrop, all that stuff, you know? Mm -hmm. But it's exciting. Like, I have energy when mm -hmm. I talk about it. Yeah, me too. I think it's yeah. annoying. <laughs> well, and I, I agree with Crypto Stylist that, you know, yeah, maybe for you, Monica, you know, you always talk about the, the wrinkles in the brain thing. And with your questions too, there's always that, uh, like, like, it's like the teacher saying like, hey, does anyone have a question? And then, you know, the class kind of like stays you know, silent. And then one person's like, oh, hey, I have this question. You know, in reality, so many people have the the same questions that you do. And uh, it's it's nice for people to kind of speak up about it. Because like Crypto said, you know, you are uh, engaging in the chats, interacting in the chats. And and honestly, like, that's the best way you can learn something, right? Like they say, uh, one of the best ways to, to learn another language or things like that is to submerse yourself into yeah. their culture or things like that. Mm -hmm. So that's what you're doing. And I agree too, like, you know, I've gotten a whole bunch of people in probably at least a hundred um, that mm -hmm. I've onboarded. And it's like, it's, it's, it's a responsibility that I take seriously because I don't want my brother. I don't want my dad. I don't want my mom, girlfriend, mm -hmm. whoever. I don't want them having, you know, a, a compromised account or one of these experiences. Mm -hmm. Like when I was mm -hmm. in Portland with Hexdeck 16, I had this little Hex hat on, which is uh, over there. And someone's like, oh, hey, Hex, you know, I recognize the hat. And I was like, hey, cool, man. And then he had said that, his account had gotten compromised. And usually that is from like, you know, uh, a lack of knowledge. And so that's not fun to see because right. things like that can be a huge turnoff. And then people are like, oh, that crypto thing. Like, you know, it's glad, I'm glad that it's becoming more adopted now because when I was in my job interview in 2017, like everyone scoffed at it, you know, <laughs> but people are starting to realize, but part of that comes with the learning curve of the knowledge. Yeah. Well, that's why I, um, you know, I was shy about even coming on because I don't talk crypto language. All I can say is like, you know, I repeat, like I love getting crypto wrinkles in my brain, literally, because mm -hmm. I 
and never spoke the language of crypto. And um, even coffee has definitions of mm. words that are commonly used. Um, mm. And even, uh, what is it? FOMO. Um, mm. What is that? Uh, FUD. All these things I didn't know. And he has those on his um, um, tutorial. And that mm. helps me. So I, I get shy because uh, I I want to go on just because I have all these questions, but I don't, again, don't talk the crypto talk. You know what I mean? You don't so, need to. You can speak plain English and just talk. It doesn't, you know, you don't have to say FUD or, you know, it, it doesn't. But when I see it in comments, I'm like, what, is, what does that mean? <laughs> am, I, am I missing something here? What the hell does that mean? But, you know, I mean, I'm picking it up eventually, right? Yeah. <laughs> Slowly but surely, one foot in front of the other, you know? You're doing, You're doing great. great. I mean, I what's... Somebody was said here, um, Crypto Gains says that not everyone picks it up as fast, but you can tell MoFit puts the work in. Oh, thank for you. Sure. I'm trying. That's for sure. I know I've seen a lot of you, a lot of you guys. Mm. Well, Mo asks questions if you look at, and fast. Yeah. And, and if you look at my early streams or Coffee or, or Motley, all of us, you know, uh, not necessarily Richards, but, but yeah, anyways, if you look at the early streams and stuff, you know they're awful but like now i do i do go back to my streams and listen to them so 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 you're definitely doing a really good job and and everyone you know it's a learning curve for a reason you know and like you know slowly but surely you go from what the heck is crypto and what is like magic internet money to like okay making your way up the the mountain so yeah keep kicking yeah. ass well i love the stream because richard broke it down with um with the girls right cuz they asked for the elementary version of crypto mm -hmm. and it brought me back to okay this is what i like to hear again and again i want to hear it repetitively because that's mm -hmm. how i sing it in. and it's simple for many but it's not for like my sister right mm -hmm. which you know, i didn't know and i love hearing it because um it just goes back to him being real right and being in tune with the most he can be anyway um being in <laughs> tune with just us regulars <laughs> trying to learn stuff <laughs> What are we laughing at now? <laughs> no, no, you're no, I'm laughing at you because you're like as regular as it can be. And I'm like, that's funny. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, no, 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 I'm not laughing at the chat. But um, Jim Rat's here. I knew he would come. What's up? Because you're here. I love Jim Rat. Yeah, no, the yeah <laughs> those, like, Richard keeps talking about his delts. For Jim Rat. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you keep talking about Jim Rat's delts? I'm sense. like, that's so funny. <laughs> And Jim, Jim Rat's a great guy. I love that guy. Yeah. One same thing. He went from like, oh my God, this guy made, you know, face palm, face palm, face palm, like every mistake in the book to like, you know, uh, the tenacity is like what I would consider that in grit. And he's like, screw this. I don't care how many mistakes I make. And he said he's done this in, you know, maybe other areas or some people, you know, with the way that you learn. But, but now freaking look at him. Like, geez, like mm -hmm. he's, he's like the best damn, you know, one of the best damn hexagons. And like, no one else is doing it daily. And, and him and Sam, I, I like people that, because I'm kind of the same way where when I'm doing streams, it's like, hey, not every, like I try to speak on what I know about, but but I don't know everything. And so I like that Jim Rat and Sam kind of together, they like my brother watches him too. And he's like, they got a really good like yin yang, kind of just like a, yeah. a du duality, you know? Yeah. Well, it's eight o'clock here in California when I watch them. So I'm literally, you know, getting started yeah, with same. my day. And now I almost, it's like a habit for me. You know, it's, I like to listen to those guys. I like Stoltz questions. I like how he challenges. Um, and GRC is yeah, always, yeah. you know, on the real content. So it's, it's good. And then you guys have great guests like you too, crypto stylists. You have guests that are informative and helpful oh. and funny and, um, you know, give us the real deal. And I, I like it. I literally find myself logging on to see who's coming on us so I can learn something new. Which I appreciate, oh, and nice. yeah, and then Walt Harris, like he's uh, helpful to uh, so many people. Mm -hmm. Gosh, I keep going on, but you know, everybody in the chats, um, just cheerful, and you know, depending on the day, I should say, <laughs> but um, yeah, <laughs> like a little less so. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm like, um, yeah, I'm gonna have like a happy stream. You know, we're gonna be yeah. positive because I'm like, yeah, yeah I'll just sprinkle mm -hmm. chocolate and, and sprinkles on. That way, we can all make sure we throw It'll in be a keto smile. chocolate, keto chocolate. Wait, I do. Do. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, definitely. What's up, completion? No, no completion fails. Um, okay. Well, Monica, I'm so so honored that you came on the stream with me. I was so happy that you said yes. 
<laughs> thank you for having me. Yeah, and thank you so guys good. too. You do, do it I again. felt like I needed you with me. I'm like, oh, I need somebody. <laughs> I need you too. <laughs> I mean, Brandon's just the coolest. He's the coolest. Yeah. And um, yeah. we'll, yeah, we'll do something together soon. I'm serious, Monica. You should put together those questions. Those are really good questions. Mm -hmm. And do it yes, with it like, is. yeah, then go on with like, you know, go on with like Brandon. And then you go or you get a panel of people, a few people, you know, the smarties, mm -hmm. you know, and then they'll answer your questions. That'd be fun. Mm -hmm. For me to do it, <laughs> you I mean, got this, Monica. <laughs> you can write them down, and I, you know, some or somebody else can do it. Down. Yeah, you can write yeah. them down, and I'll be like, "It's Monica's questions." Monica, mm -hmm. questions. Sorry, <laughs> a lot of questions. Questions. They're really good questions. <laughs> oh, it's, it's amazing. When, once again, so many people aren't aren't willing to ask those questions, or. Mm -hmm. Or they might pretend that they know everything and then you hear them talk and it's like, this person knows nothing, you know? Um, mm -hmm. So at least, yeah, the idea of being able to, you know, blanket state, being able to to come from like a, a point of, hey, I want to learn about this. And, you know, usually that's the, the start of anything is with a, mm -hmm. a desire. So, yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. with how much you've been active in the chats, like Crypto said, it's not just like a you know, a hit and run type of deal. It's like, no, you know, active in the chat, You're you know, keep it, going back and Monica. forth. Yeah. yeah. I am in that's, it. I'm proud of it. Yeah, yeah. and that's why I'm like everybody who streams and you should you support should come and support her today, or watch mm -hmm. it after the mm -hmm. fact and let her know and subscribe to her channel and her so, Twitter. <laughs> everything. everything. Yes, find me on Twitter. I'm not, I'm I'm late on the game with YouTube. I should probably start making videos again. They're at least a year old, but no. But I'm I want to watch all the cooking shows. I'm gonna watch. It. I subscribed. And then, oh, um, thank you. Yeah, it's in the thank it's in you. the description and the channel. Yeah. Also, Brandon's. I mean, everyone's already subscribed to Brandon, but still, it's in there. You know, and all your social media as well. So I'm glad you're wearing the necklace. It looks good. It yeah, looks I'm really wearing good. it today. What is it like a black moon or something, <laughs> or or like yeah, it's whatever like it is? It looks very pretty. So uh, I've seen dead. it before, actually. So definitely yeah. some style right there. I do like uh, it too. Thank you, thank you. Okay, you guys. Or I guess you know, I, I keep it not too long. I'm mm -hmm. really. Brandon, thank you. You're like, as always, a pleasure to hang out with. And um, we will congregate again soon. Maybe after Pulse yeah. Dream Lunch. Okay. okay. All right. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye.